In addition to the RFC-related integration settings, there are also some delivery-related integration settings that needs to be maintained. But before we talk more about these settings, let's take a quick look at the high-level process flow for EWM-relevant inbound deliveries. As you remember from the inbound process demo, the standard process for inbound deliveries starts in S4 HANA, and the information about incoming deliveries is distributed to EWM from S4. The same is true for outbound deliveries. When an inbound or outbound delivery is created in S4, the system is checking the plant in the storage location in the delivery document and verifies whether the S4 warehouse assigned for that plant and storage location is EWM relevant. If a delivery is EWM relevant, the system creates a corresponding delivery document automatically in EWM. But in order for the information to flow between the systems, we need to create a distribution model in S4 and map the delivery types in S4 with the delivery types in EWM. A distribution model decides what kind of data is transferred between the systems. I open the configuration menu and start navigating the menus starting from Logistics Execution. I select Extended Warehouse Management Integration, then Basic Setup of Connectivity, and finally, Generate Distribution Model from S4 HANA to SAP EWM. To generate a distribution model, enter the number of your S4 warehouse number here, logical system number of your EWM system, and insert any name for the distribution model view. If you don't know the S4 warehouse number you will be using yet, don't worry. I will show you how to create a new warehouse number in S4 during the next chapter of this course, and you can generate a distribution model for your warehouse later. I have already generated the distribution model for my S4 warehouse, so I will just check my entries using this selection. In addition to the distribution model, you also need to map different document types and item types in S4 with the corresponding types in EWM, as the EWM module is using different document types than the core S4. These mappings are already available by default, so I won't be using too much time to go through them, but let's have a very quick look at these settings. I go to Extended Warehouse Management, then Interfaces, then ERP Integration, then Delivery Processing, and then select Map Document Types from ERP System to EWM. You can see that the mappings have been maintained. The settings in your system should look similar to what you are seeing here. The other settings for mapping item types, date types, and partner roles are available here. I recommend you to have a quick look at these settings before moving forward. While we have this menu path open, let's also double check that the number ranges for delivery documents created directly in EWM have been maintained. Based on the standard inbound process, the information about deliveries is sent to EWM from S4. But it's also possible to create delivery documents directly in EWM and then send the information to S4. The number ranges defined here are for the delivery documents created directly in EWM. We have finished going through the distribution model and delivery document mapping related settings. In the next chapter, we start building our actual end-to-end -end scenarios, starting from the warehouse structures we will be needing.